Hello everyone, this video tutorial introduces the import of a Euclid database into QSAR toolbox and how to make incremental import of already imported Euclid database. In general, QSAR toolbox allows adding custom databases to the ones that are included in the toolbox installation. Import of databases is possible via two general ways, tab delimited file, Excel or TSV, or direct connection to the Euclid instance. Imported databases can also be modified, while pre-installed databases cannot. What is Euclid and when do we need to import such a database in Toolbox? This is a platform to store, submit, and exchange data on chemical substances in the format of the OECD harmonized templates. Once you have your own custom Euclid database, it could be imported in the Toolbox and used further. Euclid version 6.5 and higher is the software version that operates with the latest QSAR toolbox. To import a Euclid database we need to go to data and press this button. There are two opportunities here, to import the database to the already imported custom database or to create the new one. New database is selected by default. Keep it as it is. Give the name of your custom database and proceed by next button. This option allows you to inspect any error or messages happen during the import. In order to make the connection between your Euclid 6 server and toolbox the following connection parameters must be filled. Add the IP address or DNS name of your own Euclid instance. Specify the port, usually it is 8080. Add the username valid for the server. Enter the corresponding password. Verify that the connection is successful. You could save your credential details by this option. Move to the next stage. In this stage there are several options to choose. The first choice is to select what type of data to import. Structural information option will import only the structures without any endpoint study records. Then, the imported structures will appear in the inventories list. The structural information plus endpoint study records option will import the endpoint study records of the substances along with their structural information. Let's keep this selection. Additionally, endpoint study records can be filtered across these metadata, purpose flag, study result type and reliability. By default all metadata are selected. However, the user has opportunity to select only the desired ones, for example to import only data with purpose flag key study. In this video tutorial we will keep the default settings, but will import data with the highest reliability scores, 1 and 2. Finally press the finish button. The actual process of import starts. The required time to perform the transfer may vary depending on the connection speed, the computer performance and number of chemicals with data that will be imported. When the substances with data are transferred, the corresponding message appears. The imported database can be verified for correctness of the import. For this purpose we need to select it from the input section. Press database, find it and click on it. Once the chemicals are loaded on data matrix, go and gather data for them. Now data is populated on data matrix and could be viewed. Second part of this tutorial is to show how to update your already imported custom database by so-called incremental import. With this option, a preliminary check is performed which compares the two databases and only structures and or data not present in the toolbox database are imported. This is a good option if your Euclid database is updated over time, and you want to have the updated information in the QSAR toolbox too. In this tutorial, we will show how to update your already imported custom database where the identification number of paracresol is changed from invalid identification number to the correct one. Here we have updated in our Euclid database the identification number of PCRESOL, however the process of changing the identification number itself in Euclid platform is not demonstrated. To make the incremental update we should go again to data and press this button. We need to select the already imported custom database from this menu. Click next and follow the instructions. Now the system checks what has been changed and proceeds with its update only. To verify the modification we need to reload the custom database again. We are repeating the same steps of load the data as already demonstrated. In the appeared chemicals, find the paracresol structure, open the info section and double click over the cell with sources. 
as you see that the identification number of paracresol chemical is changed. Congratulations! Now you are familiar with the importing of Euclid database in QSAR toolbox. To learn how to define the target endpoint, profile a chemical, collect data, define a category and fill data gap, please watch the corresponding video tutorials.